and he just so happened to be the top coach in Canada last year. He was the first and only elite Canadian in 2013. He's a five-star diamond, but just so you know, he ain't stopping there because as of today, he's a combined nine-star qualifying coach. He is, like I said, elite. He's a Success Club 10 all-star. And the guy pretty much rocks the stage. So, Miguel Carrasco, if you would come up here and join us. I can't do my normal, what's up? <laughs> she was awesome. She's like, you gotta follow Autumn, Cal Autumn Calabri. So I'm like, oh man. <laughs> so I usually do presentations that are like an hour long, so to talk in five minutes is gonna be freaking impossible. So I'm just gonna go. <laughs> I don't, know if the, I don't know if the slides are working because I want you to see the pictures, but... Oh, it's like a... Okay, okay, I'll just go. Um, so anyway, I was talking to my team the other day. Um, we have team calls like every week, and something kind of hit me. It made me realize something. A lot of my team, included here, and a lot of them that didn't come to Summit, think beach body coaching is hard. How many of you at one point or another have felt that beach body coaching or coming to Coach Summit is hard. How many of you? If you don't raise your hands, you've got to talk about lying. Because <laughs> I thought it was hard too. But I think what we need is a little perspective in our life. A little perspective of what the word hard was intended to be. Many of you might not know, <laughs> I'm kidding, who these people are on the screen, but I want to talk to you about them today. Let's talk about Nelson Mandela. Here's a guy that one day decides he's going to end the apartheid movement by himself, and he gets friends involved, his family involved, big dream in his life, wants to crush it. Huge belief. The belief to do that? Imagine the belief he had. No money, trying to do it peacefully while his friends and family are beaten, starved, murdered all around him. Does he win? No. Crushing defeat. Goes to prison for 29 years. That would be hard. Dealing with that in prison, not committing suicide, that would be hard. Getting out of prison just to be a normal human being, that would be hard. But to go on and become the president of the nation that put him in prison, that would be really hard. You, sitting in your comfy chair, posting a challenge group invite? That's easy! Like, get some perspective here, folks. Let's talk about Mother Teresa for a second. Mother Teresa, here's the person that receives a calling from God that says you're going to leave your house, your family, your mom, your sister, at 18, you're never going to see them again. She never saw them again. You're going to work in the slums, in the poorest of the poor, and help them. That's what you need to do. And to do that, and after one year, be failing, and doubting yourself, and staying there, and keep moving forward, and keep moving forward, so your team of one becomes 13, then later, when you go away, becomes 4,000 people, with no money, not a penny to her name, that's hard. That's hard to do. You convincing someone that has an $800 iPhone to buy a $140 challenge pack? That's freaking easy. You're gonna hear from someone, Diana Nyad, amazing, amazing story. If you haven't seen her story, amazing. You gotta watch her TED Talks. She spoke at TED Talk after she failed an attempt to swim from Florida, or sorry, from, from Cuba all the way to Florida. She failed four times before doing it. If you don't know her story, I'm sure she'll tell you, when she started swimming, she had a big dream, a vision, to not just become a great swimmer, not just to become the world's best woman swimmer, but to become the greatest swimmer, the greatest swimmer, the greatest swimmer of all time. All time. She ended up swimming around Manhattan, the first person to do so, unassisted. 
A few years later, she swam from the Bahamas to Florida, became the world record holder to this day for the longest distance swim, then gives up, completely stops swimming, doesn't swim a stroke in her life for 30 years and feels lost. And what does she do when she turns 60? She gets a new big vision, a big dream. And her dream, dream is to swim from Cuba to Florida unassisted. What happens? She goes into training for years, spends all her life savings. CNN is out, the crew is out, this is all documented. You'd think it's a setup, it's all good, it's good to go, things are going to happen for her. She can't even take off on the first swim. Can't go, weather's too bad. Next attempt, almost dies. Jellyfish. Third attempt, doesn't do it. Keeps pushing. A 60 year old female. Finally, in 2013, she ends up doing it. She's the first woman to swim, first human to swim that distance. First human to swim from Cuba to Florida unassisted. That's amazing. That's amazing. That's dedication to what you love. So I think it's important for us to have that perspective because sometimes we can get down. I get down. And my big dream for you is that when you are down, when you think, I can't do this, this is too hard. Take that word heart out of the equation. Most of you got on an amazing, you know, dreamliner, whatever, cruise, ship, airplane, however you got here, nice fancy car to get to Vegas. You're ooming and eyeing about spending the money, some of you, and you probably won't admit it right now. But look around you, was it worth it? Everything you sacrificed, was it worth it? Are you gonna go back and tell your team that it was worth it? If you show your team that this is easy, that it can be done, if you show your team what is possible, then they will realize that it's easy and that it's possible too. The same reason Lindsay Matway went 15 star diamond. Because she wanted to prove that it was possible. Prove that she could do it. I look at all of you and I'm like, wow, I walked in here last year, late, wasn't supposed to be on stage and I was sitting at the back. And I had two coaches with me. And last night we had a party with like 50 coaches in my hotel room in Vegas and we gave them some shirts and jackets and stuff. And I still can't believe it. And my next year's goal is 500. And I know it sounds crazy and it's going to be a lot of work, but it's not hard, it's going to be easy. Yeah. That's the difference. And it's going to happen. I don't care where they announce it, we're getting there. So last thought I want to leave with you before I finish off is, I want you guys to dream big. Like dream bigger than you've ever dreamed. My goal was to earn $3,000 as a Beachbody coach in three years. <laughs> True story. My first coach was my wife because I stole her credit card and signed her up. My first real coach, I didn't sign up for three weeks later, Marlo, who's in the audience. She was the first person who actually believed in me and I hung up the phone and I was like, Oh shit, I gotta figure this out. <laughs> so I beg you guys, you guys can do this. I want this year to be the biggest year for you. The biggest ass kicking, world breaking, top coach earning, elite point making, dominating year, six figure income earning year. Give the patch of folks, dream the extreme, take it easy.